The Colton High School's TOPS program is a hidden secret from the general public in Colton. It is the transition opportunity program for the school's moderate to severe special needs students between the ages of 18 and 22. The reason why nobody knows about it is because it's like a rare gem. CHS is one of the only high schools to have a program like this in the local region. Students in TOPS classes focus on earning their certificate of completion for high school and practice life skills from common household chores to managing time and money. Lindsay Scarborough enjoys her job in learning from her students. I teach them independent living skills, so domestic skills like doing laundry, washing dishes, budgeting, grocery shopping, everything that they would do if they were to run their own household. While I was there, Ashton Reynosa and her class discussed how the day was in daily news. Who doesn't care? Okay. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> my favorite Dodgers, my favorite team. Your favorite team? The students enjoyed the baseball playoffs and really loved the Dodgers. Top students go on weekly outings to practice what they've learned in class, like ordering takeout at local restaurants like Amapoya. The students and teachers have fun with each other and also teach each other lessons they wouldn't get anywhere else. My main focus is the community um, based instruction. So we go off campus quite often, um, anywhere between two to four times a week. We learn how to navigate the community, um, understanding businesses, hours of operations, um, money transactions, budgeting, um, and then be, you know being present in the community. Uh, and teaching inclusion within our own, within the community also. The determination to learn is basically shining off these students. You know, I believe that uh, it's teaching not only regular red students, it's teaching special ed students because it teaches them, you know what, I want to go out, but there are times where I'm not, I, I don't know how to handle money and don't know how to say it. So it's teaching you how to be responsible and learning independence later in life because if you don't learn independence where are you going to be every day as they go into the community they spread awareness about the bigger message they're trying to convey about people with disabilities yeah i think it's important that we uh, treat our students um, that have disabilities not as a person that's disabled but a person with a disability we talk about people first language uh, and it gives our uh, people with disabilities that dignity that they're known as that person and, and maybe with a, a challenge as opposed to a disabled person.